what droughts do. This wheat here should look like that. And we'll never be able to make up that time and that loss. Water is crucial in the Central Valley. The region is the nation's leading agricultural producer. But rain has been scarce here for three years now. And for the first time ever, no federal water will be given to cities like Fresno. That's bad news for farmers. We'll probably lose a third of our production. No water, then maybe no more farming. Very disaster, big time disaster. The state wants to save as much water as possible. So previous sources, such as the San Luis Reservoir, won't be available this year. That means farmers like Paul Betancourt will have to rely on pumping their own water from the ground, which may cause some glitches. Can't afford to put another well on the ground. Uh, neighbors put in a 1,300 foot well here. I can't do that. I don't have the money to do it. So, um, you know, if Ruben calls up tomorrow and says, hey boss, the, the, the pump died, I'm dead right then. But farmers aren't the only ones in trouble. The city says the water problem will trickle down. We feed the nation, and if we're being starved of water because of the drought that we've been in now for the last three years, uh, you've got to remember then it's going to affect everyone. Less crops are being produced, so food prices are hiking up, and people are noticing. Once it hits in the pocketbook, uh, people do tend to pay a little more attention. The city recommends working together and suggests conserving water and building more facilities as part of the solution. I don't care if you're a farmer or a municipality, you have to have a portfolio of water solutions. You also have to have hope. If I didn't have hope, I couldn't get out of bed in the morning. Um, so we're, you know, we continue to be careful with every drop of water we have to irrigate with. For farmers and the people they affect, there is no quick fix. Just water-wise solutions and the hope for a rainy day. This is Adriana Darmengian with J503.